This is a 2016 DRV Houston that we've used while we were building our New Horizons. We've now moved into the custom New Horizons and this unit is now for sale. We owned it for two years uh, while we were waiting for our build out of the New Horizons and most of that two years it lived under this port. Now the New Horizons is under that port and the DRV is out in the open. Let's take a look at the inside. This is a kind of a unique paint job. They didn't use this paint job very long, but it is really quite nice. This has electric steps and they work quite well. Um, the previous owners of this rig were also full-timers, as are we, um, and so these steps have been used quite a bit and really give us no problem at all. Let's take a look on the inside. So the Houston is somewhat unique in that it has a half bath or a pantry right here in the front as you walk in. In this case it's a pantry with a washer and dryer. Both work quite well. And then over on the side here is the pantry with storage above. It really holds a lot. And room over here for brooms and whatnot to hang on the wall. And you could build this out to the side here too as well if you wanted to. We didn't because we knew it was a temporary rig for us. But really we found no lack of storage space in here. These are about 18 inches deep and uh, really hold a lot. And as you walk in the front, it's a typical Houston layout. Very, very usable rig. Everything is in relatively good condition. It is a used RV. Um, but the woodwork is very nice. Um, it may not come out on video as well as it looks in person. But this, this is just spectacular cherry. It really is quite nice. It's got a nice golden hue to it from age. Not really beat up at all. You know, just two couples lived in here. Us and the original owners. Has the typical KitchenAid. Refrigerator here, French style doors. Very large island. Almost as large as the one in our New Horizons that we just custom built. It really is a nice workable kitchen. Everything works. Everything is as it should be. We replaced the convection microwave that was in here with a high-end Whirlpool. We just did that before we moved out of it. The one that was in here broke. But this is a really nice, usable, lots of space in it. The convection part works very well. So this is basically new. I think it was within a month when we moved out. Typical two-burner induction cooktop. Lots of drawers down here. So lots of storage space. Dishwasher on this side. Dishwasher works fine. Everything is functional. Very nice sink. Two sides to it. A big side and a little side. This unit is winterized, but the, you know, faucets work fine. We enjoyed the unit when we had, when we were living in it. Um, you know, it's a very livable unit, as I said. So, really nothing bad to say about it. And now my mic cord is caught. And then there's a, a usable desk over here. You know, with room for a chair underneath it. Space for files at the bottom. It 
area up here to store stuff in. These are all the manuals and bills or repair bills for it. We have everything from, in, from when it was brand new. Nice little lighted display area up here. Notice there is an outlet in there. Good place for a printer probably. And no outlet in this one. This table pulls out as all DRVs do and there is a uh, expansion section in there. Nice area for displaying stuff. All the shades work well. So in the back here we have Lazy Boy recliners here that we put in and we have two Euro recliners back here. We also put those in. They're uh, off blue gray, uh, so they fit in pretty well. They're extremely comfortable. Lots of storage above. Very tall cabinets, so you really get a lot of storage in them. Shelf in all of them going across. This center one is lighted. And then on the entertainment side, you have a large TV, a brand new Dimplex fireplace. We just put it in. A couple of file drawers. Really good storage. Keyboards, computers go in there. And shelf area down here. Again, very good storage. Nice pantry area here, put a coffee maker on there, whatever, there is an outlet in the back of it. So that works out well, that's what we did, we had a coffee maker in there. And lots of additional pantry up here in addition to what you have in what was be the half bath or pantry area. So carpet's in good shape. Again, this was not a hard lived in unit. Let's take an overall look at it again. Ceiling fan works, all the lighting works. As I said, all the Stuff in here is in pretty good shape. This is probably typical of what the cabinets look like. Beautiful cherry, if you like cherry. So they're not beat up. This is probably one of the most used cabinets in here. You can see even the handles aren't beat up around the handles. Backsplash is in good shape, no grout broken in it, no broken tiles. So even like the silverware drawer, which would be one of the most used drawers, is in great shape. So let's take a look at the upstairs. We'll go up there next. So going up the stairs, you walk through the bedroom to the bathroom. Here's the instrumentation area, which we'll get back to in a minute. You can see the instrumentation that's in here. ATS is here, Magnum Inverter, Dometic, Heat and, heat and Air Conditioning Controls. Overhead fan, switches, power control center, and then just various switches here. And then 
just some storage up here typical closet this is supposedly a coat closet doesn't hold much wine guard control is here the rooftop wine guard needs to be replaced it is broken it is set up for direct TV the one that's up there the motor is burned out the rotation motor is burned out and to get it fixed you have to set it back to wine guard you can no longer buy a motor and install it yourself they won't do it so we we made the choice of not repairing it when we repaired everything else that we did under the theory that most people stream these days and some people would want direct some people would want dish network so we just left it unrepaired it can be fixed though you're basically in the business of replacing it so here's what the bedroom looks like now the original owners did not order overhead cabinets above because they were both tall they wanted to be able to sit up in bed and they were concerned that they'd hit their heads queen size bed everything we added this mattress in here it's uh, we swapped it out with another mattress we had so it's a relatively new mattress normal bedside tables access panel for the back of the shower access panel for the foot foot of the toilet and then there's a TV up here with the TV stuff under here all that's under there honestly I don't even know if it works we've never used we never used it but I assume it worked they did use it and then lots of storage here this is a slide as in most DRVs so this is a slide here fourth slide and then from the bedroom you flow into the bathroom really nice bathroom double sink storage underneath lots and lots of vanity or medicine cabinet storage you can get a lot of stuff in there again all the cabinets are in really good condition all the sinks are fine there's no plumbing drips max fan control here fans above typical DRV shower it's very roomy shower we added a different shower head and dispenser here this because this bathroom is up in the nose this is an electric macerator toilet it does work occasionally we see it where it wants to indicate full when it's not full you just override it you just press the button twice and it overrides it that's a typical problem with these toilets the sensor goes on them or it gets flaky toilet paper holders here honestly not that convenient and a great closet so double hanging on this this side on the passenger side shoe storage and stuff another hanging rod for shirts and then on this side a safe a taller hanging rod and lots of shelves carpets all in great shape up here as well as downstairs floor tiles are in great shape no issues with the floor tiles at all no peeling up no cuts and damage that are that is noticeable really good condition carpet So floor tiles down here again in 
very good shape. No peeling up. No damage from the slides coming in and out. The slides work fine. No issues with the slides since we've owned it. This does have the level up leveling system on it. There is a back ladder. I guess that's standard. It does have surround sound, but honestly, surround sound in an RV isn't that effective. But it sounds pretty good. Desk area. Dinette area. And another look upstairs. So we're back outside. Tires are in good condition, but they are five years old. Uh, there's no, you know, defects in them. They're not cracked or anything, but they're near end of life. On an RV tire, five years is probably where I'd draw the line. So I, I would say they need to be replaced, but you know, the rig can travel like it is. Um, there's no scalloping on them or damage on them at all. Alignment seems to be good on it. This is a Moride IS suspension on here, um, so it's a good suspension. A level up system on it. Here's the furnace here. This rig is dirty. We haven't washed it. It's been sitting outside. Um, but it's so, even though it's dirty, it still looks good. This paint scheme is very, very nice. Uh, there's no real damage to the rig. I mean, there are a couple rubs at the top from tree branches, but nothing down into the paint, just scrapes that could be buffed out. It's pretty typical. In the front here, we have a Moride pin box. That could be replaced with a straight down pin box here. If you have an HDT, that would work well. Um, on a pickup truck it wouldn't work. You want this extra extension out here. The rig tows very well. I've, I've towed it around. I towed it with an HDT, heavy duty truck, and it towed great. Um, same thing down this side. Let's take a look inside here. I believe the satellite dish is sitting right in here. Well, the side's locked. Water center, utilities, normal stuff. Um, water heater works fine. Generator, exhaust, drain valves. We had them taped up with heat tape. I'll take that off. Again, on this side, the tires are in, you know, they're in great shape. You can see there's plenty of tread on them. There's no scalloping on them or anything. But again, I'd, I'd consider replacing them very soon. This rig shows no sign of any frame damage. The rear cap issue that is typical on DRVs has been repaired. The original owners had that done by DRV. So that was reinforced in the rear cap put back on. So that's not a concern. Um, we have had it recalked. So it is caulked up pretty well. So that doesn't have to be done. We did have most people are familiar with the DRV defect in the bedroom slides, the way it gets trimmed 
trimmed allows water into the floor and the floor rots. That happened to this rig. We had the entire floor replaced in the bedroom slide. We just had that done. So all of this, the slide was taken out, floor replaced and put back in and recalked up and everything. So that's been done on this rig. So that's not a concern. That's almost every DRV exhibits that. You have to keep this caulk in good repair here because water comes down in here, gets onto the plywood and rots it out. That's exactly what happens. So that's the current state of things. If there are any questions, you can contact me at my email, jackdanmayer at gmail.com, J-A-C-K, D as in dog, A-N as in Nancy, Mayer, our last name, M-A-Y-E-R. That's a quick overview of this particular DRV.